if you take social responsibility seriously, you have to build it in from the outset. It's kind of flavor of the month right now, everything, and, and if you try to layer social responsibility like icing onto a cake in a business, that's not very interesting, uh, and there's a lot of that going on. But I do think that there are, um, let me give you one example, where uh, there's an uh, investment management firm that was started, one of the partners is Al Gore, Another is a guy named David Blood, used to run Goldman Sachs Asset Management. And they, had, they, they placed the following bet. They said several years ago that the world is changing and that sustainability is going to become uh, a key corporate strategy. It might be around carbon footprint. It might be around human capital. But we believe businesses that are ahead of the curve in what they're doing about sustainability are going to do better on average than their peers mm -hmm. because of the way the world is changing you know, with the climate change and so on. And so they created an investment company in which social responsibility actually drives profits because they're looking for companies for whom the, the social responsibility and sustainability is interwoven in a business in a way that that very thing makes them more successful, and they try to assemble a portfolio of those companies and hold them from the long term. So it, it's kind of Warren Buffett meets the Sierra Club, uh, trying to get you know, the best of both worlds, but it's working quite well. And I think in different sectors, in, in, in green tech and clean right. tech and others, there will be opportunities to do great businesses based on doing the right thing. Uh, you've got to be careful and you've got to be smart. But are there an increasing number of opportunities like that? I believe that's the case.